Hi, this is Steve from GSX, and welcome to our video series about GSX Monitor and GSX Analyzer. There will be a whole bunch of videos issued in the next few weeks. Some will be very detailed, some will be more general, some will be about different platforms. So I suggest that you uh, subscribe to our RSS feed off of our blog so you can keep an eye on new ones when they come out. And without further ado, let's get into the content. Thanks. Well, we're here to talk about BlackBerry Enterprise Server, so let's get started. First of all, there's going to be a lot of information, and we most definitely will not be able to fit it in one video. So keep your eyes open for the subsequent videos coming in the next few days. Uh, in case you've come here for the first time and you've never seen GSX Monitor before, let's talk a little bit about what this screen is. This is the main admin dashboard for GSX Monitor, and in this pretend company, we're watching, I don't know, 70 or 80 servers of varying types. We have three columns of servers, okay? And in each of those columns, we have different types of servers. So down the left here, we actually have Domino messaging and app servers. Uh, here we have some more Domino servers. Here we have some web pages that we're monitoring. Here we have some same time servers. Blackberry, of course, where we'll spend most of our time. And then down the right hand column here, we have exchange servers in varying regions. So these servers can be anywhere you happen to want them to be. They may be uh, in uh, the Americas, they may be in EMEA, they may be in APAC, wherever they happen to be. And we've got them grouped under different headings uh, by, by function and or by region. So we're going to zero in kind of here and look at the Blackberry servers. And if you notice, there's several different columns here. And the columns, in those columns, these lights are telling us a real-time status of certain aspects of the way that server's performance should be working. So if you notice, this first one has the word up here. And if I mouse over a particular server, I see it, green is good in this situation, and, and red is bad, and yellow is some sort of warning. And in that situation, uh, this server has is up, it's running, it's running a particular version of uh, BEZ, and the server's up, and seven services are up and eight services are disabled. Actually, maybe we should look at what these different colors mean. And these are all user definable. So in this example, we see that green is good, Bez server is up and running, red is bad, uh, this server or service is not responding. We have another green that is telling us that in a Bez cluster, the primary is up, and then the secondary would be shown as a normal server in this lighter color. And if it's in maintenance or any of these other things, these are all tunable, and you can you know change these colors if you wish. Okay, so going back, um, you know, maybe we should actually look at an example where we see several different types of BEZ server. And this is out of the live system, and it's just a screenshot. Here I have a BEZ Express server. Here I have a BEZ 5 high availability cluster that we see both the primary and the secondary, or standby rather, server. And then here we have regular BEZ you know, 4 whatever, 4.1 or 5 non high availability uh, servers that we're watching. So going back to the live system, and this is actually literally uh, monitoring these 80 or 75, 80, whatever numbers of servers as we're doing this. So this first column is going to tell us if a server is up. And of course, if it's not, there's going to be an alert going on in the background that's going to tell the right resource during the particular time of day that this failure has occurred that uh, something has gone wrong with the server so they can jump into action. Um, the user column is kind of interesting. It's telling us the condition of our users, and the, or at least the ones we've chosen to monitor. And we see some numerals here. 10 is the number of users on that server, and then in the lower uh, color here in red is telling me that I have six non-critical users in error, and I also see that there was an alert sent out uh, in the parenthetical uh, uh, lines there that told the particular resource responsible for that that this has gone on. Now, if I want to see what those alerts are, I can go into user management and drill down to user status and errors. But I think we're going to hold that for now, and we'll come back to that after we look at the detailed settings and we understand what is a user alert, and we'll talk about that then. The log scanning column is showing me the outcome of our ongoing log scanning of the BEZ logs, and if we found any hung threads or other errors of, of various types there. And then the column that's telling us if the SRP connection is up and functioning as well. And again, there are alerts associated with all of these types of things, as well as a great deal of activity going on in the background to, uh, to, to tell us or rather to confirm that these things are really indeed working. Now, I should tell you that there's no code loaded on servers, and GSX is not relying on log scanning to, uh, to accomplish its tasks. What it's actually doing 
is um, doing direct observation and connecting with Windows SNMP to understand what's happening in the background. Now I can double click on a particular server and where I've gone is to the server settings tab here and I'm in the Blackberry scanning settings and in our next session we're going to spend some time talking about what all of these different settings are established to, uh, to sort of tweak and, and allow you to watch and we'll go into advanced settings and we'll even go into mail router and we can show you how the BlackBerry probe works to do a round trip test to make sure that your BlackBerry architecture is indeed working. So join us in a couple days for the next session. Thanks a lot. Well, thanks for the time. Don't forget to keep an eye on our blog for the uh, newest videos that will be coming out in the next few weeks. Subscribe to our RSS feed. It will make it a lot easier. And bye-bye. Thanks.